hold out your hand. Come on, do it. How, how, how wide is your hand? Three inches? Four? Now, take a breath. How long was that? Two seconds? Now listen to this. Psalm 39, 4 and 5. Show me, Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting my life is. You have made my days a mere hand breadth. The span of my years is as nothing to you. Everyone is but a breath, even those who seem secure. Right about now you're like, wait, I thought these were supposed to be encouraging little videos. How, how is reminding me of my death encouraging? I, I hear you. But sometimes we need to be encouraged to stop what we're doing and confront reality. And the reality is that we all come with a sell-by date. Besides, Solomon said, it's better to go to a house of mourning than to go to a house of feasting, for death is the destiny of everyone. The living should take this to heart. In other words, thinking about the inevitability of the end can actually help us live more fully between now and then. Back in Psalm 39, verse 6, David wrote, Surely everyone goes around like a mere phantom. In vain they rush about heaping up wealth without knowing whose it will finally be. Okay, so maybe you aren't heaping up wealth. Not many of us are these days. But I bet you're rushing around. We're all scheduled up to here with the urgent and things that require our immediate attention and as soon as possible deadlines. The important things, like family and friends and God, get pushed to the fringes or left out altogether. And before you know it, we're too old or too tired or too dead to enjoy them. Just this past week, some old friends from Atlanta drove over to Huntsville just to go to church with us and have lunch. They said they had recently been reminded of how short life is, and decided it was time to see us face to face, even if it meant a five-hour drive. I can't tell you how much that meant to Lisa and me. Hold out your hand. How wide is your hand? Now take a breath. How long was that breath? Now go out there and live like you're dying, because you are. Not a sermon, just thought.